Okay, do while loops are a uh, variation on the while loop, if you will. So let's make a new class for these guys. I'm gonna make a new class, call it do while. That sounds pretty cool. Finish. Cool, there we go, new class. Um, let's see. I'm gonna make an int, my int, and it's gonna be set to zero. Okay, and I'm gonna make a while loop. And it's gonna say while my my int is less than um five. Five sounds like a good number. Uh what are we gonna do? We're gonna do system dot out dot print line and inside we're gonna say I encountered a number. And let's have it give us the number my int. Okay, there we go. And then we increase my int by one, just like that. And then at the very end, once everything's done, let's go system dot out dot print line line. There we go. And let's say the final value value of my int is colon and my int, just like that. Okay, so what's that going to do? That's going to print out. I encounter a number, and it's going to do that four or five times. Five times, I think, because we started at zero. Um, zero, one, two, three, four. So that's five times. And then the final value of my int is five, because what it did was it went to four. It printed out four, increased it by one, did the check. The values right now is five. Five is not less than five. Printed this out. Okay, so that's a while loop, but we've seen those before. So how, how do we get do while loops from that? Well, to get a do while loop, we're going to modify this a little bit. We're going to take this code right here, the while and the condition, and I'm going to just cut and paste that at the very end and add a semicolon just like that. And I'm also going to add a do in place of where the while was before. Okay, and I have an error somewhere. Um, oh, my bad. I pasted the while loop in the wrong place. Okay. So this code block was originally the one that we had right after the while loop. And I pasted the while loop right after that code block. And instead of the while, I put do. So let us let me show you that again because I pasted while in the wrong place. So this is what we had originally, just like that. So I take while, paste it after its own code block. The code block's the one that's separated by the curly brackets. And then I put a semicolon after it. And I put do, just like that, where the while and the condition used to be. I'm going to put do. So let's see the output of that. Play. OK. Um, I encountered a number, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and my final value is 5. That seem familiar? Yeah, that's because that's the same thing our while loop did. Let's delete that sp space just because I can. OK, so that's the same thing our while loop did. So how is this different? Well, check this out. If my int is set to something like, 482 play okay proceed I encounter number 482 the final value of my int is 483 what the heck why did it do that well that's what the do loop does it goes to the con do goes through this code once and executes it once no matter what but then it checks the while condition and if the while condition is false it it checks this condition, and if it's false, then it stops executing it. And if it's true, if my int is still less than 5, then it keeps executing this code over and over and over and over again until my int is not less than 5. So this code will be executed no matter what. And that can have some useful applications when you want to execute code no matter what at least once. Uh, le let me show you that, in fact, it would have not executed at all had I not had that do there. So I just replaced that do with a while. Okay, proceed. The final value is 482. This code was not executed. My int was not incremented up by one. So that's a do while loop.